In a world driven by data, who truly holds the power? This haunting question opens the gateway to a world where data isn't just numbers, but the lifeblood of modern economies, politics, and societies. As we embark on a journey through the early days of the internet, and the initial scramble for data dominance, we witness the birth of a new era, a modern gold rush, where information is more valuable than the most precious metals. Chapter 1. The New Gold Rush. Data as Power. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, as the internet morphed from a military communication network into a global phenomenon, few foresaw its potential to become the world's most influential and valuable resource. Companies like Google and Facebook, now behemoths in the tech industry, were once startups operating out of dorm rooms and garages. They didn't just grow, they exploded in size and influence by realizing one crucial fact. Data is power. Google's algorithms turned the chaos of the World Wide Web into accessible knowledge, while Facebook connected billions, mapping the social and interest graphs of humanity. Every click, search, like, and share was a gold nugget, providing insights into human behavior, desires, and future actions. They didn't just understand their users, they predicted them. This power transformed them from platforms to empires, setting a blueprint for data mining that countless others would follow. The early 2000s witnessed a frenetic scramble for data, much like the gold rush of the 19th century. Companies worldwide awakened to the reality that whoever could mine, refine, and utilize data most effectively would rule the digital age. This rush wasn't just about possession, but understanding and leveraging data for targeted advertising, market prediction, and user engagement. The data rush led to an explosion in technology development, from data centers storing exabytes of information to sophisticated algorithms predicting our next online purchase. But this wasn't a race with a clear finish line. It was an ongoing battle, with every company seeking the next innovation to capture and utilize data more effectively. The economic implications were staggering. Data-driven companies swiftly climbed to the top of the global market, commanding enormous wealth and influence. The term big data became not just a buzzword, but a reality of life underlying every major economic and technological development. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and the narrative of data as a force for good began to face scrutiny. The ethical implications of data collection and usage started to raise alarms. Privacy breaches, like those by Cambridge Analytica, laid bare the potential for manipulation and raised fundamental questions about individual autonomy in the digital age. Economically, the monopolization of data by a few giants raised concerns about market competition and innovation. Politically, data became a weapon and a shield, used both to influence elections and to protect national interests. As we reflect on the early days of the internet and the initial scramble for data, we must consider the legacy it has left. The world is now acutely aware of the value and power of data. Countries and companies are still grappling with the balance between harnessing the power of data and protecting the rights of individuals. Chapter 2. Giants Awaken, The Rise of Data Empires As dawn broke over the digital landscape, the early skirmishes for data dominance gave way to the emergence of towering empires. Companies like Amazon and Alibaba didn't just grow, they mutated using data analytics and artificial intelligence to command markets and influence billions. Their rise wasn't merely economic, it was a fundamental shift in the fabric of society, questioning the very notions of privacy, convenience, and progress. Amazon, a once humble online bookstore, expanded its horizons far beyond retail. It became a behemoth by understanding and predicting consumer behavior turning every purchase, every search, and every click into a data point to be analyzed and acted upon. Amazon's recommendation engine didn't just know what you wanted, it knew what you might want, creating desires before they were fully formed. Similarly, Alibaba, the titan of the East, leveraged data to create an ecosystem that intertwined online shopping, financial services, 
and cloud computing, capturing every facet of its users' lives. These giants built architectures of power on the foundations of data. Their servers, humming in the quiet chill of data centers, were the new citadels from where they surveyed their vast digital domains. AI and machine learning algorithms were their generals, making decisions at speeds and scales beyond human capability. Their rise marked a new era where data wasn't just a strategic asset, but the core of their being. Behind the impersonal facades of these corporations were tales of extraordinary ambition and innovation. Visionaries like Jeff Bezos and Jack Ma didn't just see the world as it was, but as it could be. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible, often risking everything in their relentless pursuit of dominance. Their stories were those of modern titans. Their eyes set not on the heavens, but on the screens, charts, and graphs that represented their ever-expanding empires. However, this rise was not without its dark side. The competition was ruthless, often leaving a trail of failed businesses and outdated industries in its wake. The quest for market dominance raised questions about the cost of innovation. Was the convenience of next-day delivery worth the strain on workers and the environment? Did the efficiency of personalized shopping justify the invasive level of surveillance required to achieve it? As these empires grew, so too did their influence over everyday life. The convenience offered by these platforms was undeniable. A world of products, services, and information was now just a click away, tailored to individual preferences and delivered with unprecedented speed. But this convenience came at a cost, often invisible to the naked eye. The data collected wasn't just used to enhance customer experiences, but also to nudge, influence, and sometimes manipulate consumer behavior. The trade-offs between privacy and progress became a battleground for public opinion and regulation. The more people learned about the extent of data collection and usage, the more they questioned the true cost of their digital footprint. Was the erosion of privacy a fair price to pay for the modern conveniences provided by these giants? The awakening of these titans wasn't just an economic or technological event. It was a cultural and societal shift. The world was now acutely aware of the power and potential of data. And the battles ahead would not just be about market shares or innovation. They would be about values, ethics, and the kind of society we want to live in. Chapter 3. The Invisible War, Espionage, Sabotage, and Cyber Battles. In the digital age, the concept of warfare has undergone a seismic shift. The battlefields have moved from physical terrains to the intricate labyrinths of cyberspace. Here, cyber espionage isn't just a tool, but an armament wielded with precision by nations and entities vying for control. State-sponsored groups, known by codenames like Fancy Bear and Lazarus, are the new warriors, operating from the shadows. They execute complex missions with objectives ranging from geopolitical disruption to intellectual property theft. These groups employ an arsenal of digital weaponry, including malware that can lie dormant for years, advanced phishing techniques, and exploits of zero-day vulnerabilities, flaws unknown even to the software creators. This war is not limited to the echelons of global powers. Corporations, in their quest for market supremacy, have entered the fray. They engage in industrial espionage, not shying away from employing tactics that were once the sole domain of national intelligence agencies. These entities fight a war of algorithms and codes, seeking to outmaneuver competitors and dominate markets. The casualties in this silent war are often invisible. Data integrity, personal privacy, and even national security. Until the impact surfaces in the most unexpected and devastating ways. The Cambridge Analytica scandal was a watershed moment in understanding the power of data and the lengths entities will go to exploit it. Here, personal data was not just collected, but weaponized to sway political opinions on a massive scale, exploiting the vulnerabilities of democratic institutions. It was a stark demonstration of how personal data could be used to manipulate reality itself. The SolarWinds hack was another masterclass in espionage. What made this incident particularly chilling was its scale and sophistication. 
the attackers infiltrated the supply chain of a widely used network management software, unleashing a Trojan horse that penetrated the defenses of thousands of organizations, including key U.S. government departments. This breach wasn't just about stealing information. It was about understanding the deep workings of the system, laying the groundwork for future attacks. In dissecting these incidents, interviews with whistleblowers and cybersecurity experts reveal the intricate dance of offense and defense in digital spaces. They speak of the challenges of attribution, the difficulty of tracing an attack back to its source due to the myriad ways attackers can mask their digital footprints. Victims of these breaches recount the personal impact, illustrating that behind every compromised system is a human cost. The implications of this invisible war are profound and pervasive, affecting global dynamics and individual lives. On the international stage, nations are in a constant state of cyber alert. Governments and organizations invest heavily in defensive and offensive cyber capabilities, knowing that the next major conflict might not start with a bang, but with a click. For individuals, the war is equally personal. The knowledge that personal information can be stolen, manipulated, or used to exert control creates a pervasive sense of vulnerability. The digital conveniences that people rely on every day come with hidden costs, the potential loss of privacy and security. These vulnerabilities compel a reevaluation of what we value in the digital age. Trust, once given freely to institutions and technology, is now questioned. Security measures, from robust encryption to multi-factor authentication, become not just tools, but necessities. The trade-offs between convenience and privacy, between connectivity and security, are no longer abstract concepts, but everyday decisions. The invisible war is not a distant reality. It's an ongoing conflict with front lines in every device, every network, and every piece of data. It's a war where the next battle could be for our most critical infrastructures or the very fabric of society. The outcomes will shape not just the future of technology, but the future of humanity itself. Chapter 4. Data Democracy or Dictatorship. The Future in Our Hands. As we peer into the future, the glow of quantum computing illuminates the horizon, heralding a potential revolution in the data landscape. Quantum computing, with its ability to perform calculations at speeds unfathomable to current technology, holds the promise of untangling complexities that have long baffled classical computers. This isn't just about faster processing. It's about unlocking a new realm of problem-solving capabilities. However, this promise is a double-edged sword. The very power that could solve intractable problems could also break the cryptographic safeguards protecting our most sensitive data. The prospect of quantum supremacy brings with it a potential reshuffling of global power structures, redefining security and privacy in the digital age. The race towards this technology isn't just a pursuit of knowledge. It's a quest that could fundamentally alter the balance of power in the digital world. As the tidal wave of technological advancement continues, the struggle to harness its impact intensifies. Regulations like the GDPR are beacons in this tumultuous sea attempting to anchor the rights of individuals in a rapidly shifting landscape. These regulations are part of a broader dialogue about what it means to be a digital citizen and where the lines of privacy should be drawn, the complexities surrounding the right to be forgotten, and the contentious debates over encryption standards are emblematic of the tug of war between individual freedoms and collective security. The outcomes of these battles don't just influence legal frameworks, they shape the very fabric of digital society, determining whether our online world fosters freedom or subverts it. Our digital future is not a single, predetermined destination, but a spectrum of potential realities shaped by the choices we make today. Imagine a future akin to a data democracy, where technology empowers, ethics guide data usage, and privacy is a respected right. In this world, Technology uplifts human dignity and augments our freedoms. Conversely, envision a data dictatorship, a scenario where data is the currency of control, and giants of industry and government wield unprecedented surveillance power. Here, 
personal data is commoditized, and individual freedoms are sacrificed on the altar of progress and security. The balance of power between the data holders and the data creators could tip, leading to a world where our digital lives are not our own. The path we choose will define the legacy of our digital era. Will we navigate towards a future where technology serves humanity? Or will we drift into a digital dystopia? The decisions we make now about how we develop, deploy, and govern technology will echo through the ages. The future of our digital world is not a tale written by the unseen hand of fate. It's a story we are authoring with every choice, every policy, and every stand we take for our rights and freedoms in the digital age. Let's build a future that reflects our hopes, not our fears. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel for more extraordinary explorations of life's most impressive stories.